Greetings, magical family. I am the Silver Sage Witch, also known as Lady Silver Sage, and I welcome you to Friday. Happy Friday. Yes, we are in the waning moon. However, today I'm going to show you a money ritual that you can prepare for when the time is right, the waxing moon, if you so feel, um, to be able to do and see some really, really incredible results. Okay, these spells that I've come up with are not just something that I've looked up on the internet. These are spells and rituals that I have created myself to help myself, which they work. <laughs> Thank goddess. <laughs> and to help others as well. So, um, yeah. But before we go any further, I would like to say thank you so much for being here. And to those of you who have newly subscribed, thank you. Thank you very much for becoming part of the family, part of the community. Those of you who haven't subscribed, you are very welcome to. We'd love to have you. Okay, um, let's see. Anything else important I want to say? Yes. Um, the thing is, is that a lot of people don't have all of the props that are used, the props or the tools, whatever you would like to call them, uh, for a particular spell or ritual. But you see, that's okay, because these items that I've got here I'm the one who puts the magic into them, okay? And I enjoy using these witchcrafting items because they really help me to focus even better. So that I've got that crystal clear focus, you see? And it helps me to go deeper within myself when I use such items. All right, and that's why what I feel is important to say to you is you don't have to have all of these items. You can do this ritual in your mind if you don't have the items, or you can exchange items if you don't have, for example, green aventurine or uh, golden citrine. You can just exchange it for quartz crystal. If you only have a rock that you found outside on a walk, you're more than welcome to exchange these crystals for that rock that you found. You see, you are the one who puts the magic into these items that I have prepared here. Okay, now something a little bit different will be items from Mother Nature. Okay, these items from Mother Nature, like these orange pills, okay, or these these pink peppercorns, you know, different herbs or herbs or kräuter if you're German, Henry. <laughs> um, they almost have a life of their own. They have an energy, of course they do. Okay, they really have an energy for themselves. Okay, and that is why we call this sympathetic or correspondence witchcraft. Sympathetic or correspondence magic. Okay, and the more items that you have that have that realness to them, the better off your spell is going to be. Things like this, for example, I've got some money here. Um, um, and by the way, on here it said, this is fake. Well, I whited that out so that I can see for myself, this is real. This is what I'm saying in my head. This is real. It's a hundred euro bill. Look at that. But on the back it says memo. <laughs> okay, it's things like that that are important for me to help me have the success that I need in my witchcrafting. And a lot of witches, actually I have met two witches who don't use any props at all. Okay, now I'm not going to say anything negative about them, except for I found their practice to be slightly um, 
bland <laughs> for my taste. But if it works for them, that's what matters, right? We're not going to slam anybody, okay? Because we all need to do what works for us as long as we're not hurting someone else. Now that's how I truly feel about this and that's how I've been practicing for over 20 years now, okay? And I think it's important that you take a moment and understand that Oh my gosh, my goddess candle and my witch candle has not been lit. Let's do that now. I just wanted to show off my little torchy lighter here. I love this thing. I think I've said that before, sorry. <laughs> but no, um, really, you've got to set things up the way that it makes you feel comfortable. And another thing is, if you feel like designing your own um, 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 protective magical circle before you start, which a lot of Wiccans do that, and I know a lot of witches have taken up that process as well, you are, that is just fine. Go right ahead and do it. Okay, you've got to do whatever flips your switch, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you feel good. Whatever increases your strength, your power, your energy, because that's what this is all about. This is all about manifesting. And if this does not feel good for you to do on a waning moon, if this does not feel good for you to do on a Friday, which actually it is good to do on a Friday because um, Venus is the associated um, goddess with Friday, and she has to do with luxury, with wealth also also not just love not just sex okay and see that's where it's good to really get into reading okay now i i don't know about you guys but when i first came to germany we did not i did not know about amazon okay we'll put it like that and when i was told about it my heart just soared. I thought, oh my God, books, because I loved books thanks to my brother and my sister who worked in a library and always took me with them. So I always got to read these incredible books all day long and just, oh, I soaked up everything that I could in books. Thank you, uh, dear sister and brother, if you're watching. Um, yeah, so I had started saving and scrounging every scent that I could get my hands on. Okay, I, I made candles and I sold them at Christmas fairs and at these, um, the springtime fairs, you know, I saved that money. And um, I also begged for money from my ex at that time too and made promises, oh yes, I'll, I'll do this and I'll do that and if you'll get me these books. Okay, so I built up my witchcrafting library and I read as much as I could about it because I wanted to find out about these different correspondences and planetary hours and goddesses and gods and, and different types of witchcrafting tools that were available. Oh my goodness, that just opened up so many doors. And I invite you to do the same thing. Immerse yourself into the witchy aesthetic. Immerse yourself into the witchy culture. You know, you can be a specific type of witch if you prefer to put a name on it. That's fine. You can do that. Okay. Um, but you can also take from other witchcrafting methods and traditions. Okay. And that's what I do because I am an eclectic earth witch. Okay. And that's why I take a lot of different things from other traditions and spiritualities and things and use them to suit me because that's what helps me to strengthen my magic, okay? You can do the same thing too. If you want to be, um, for example, a fire witch, but you want to take something from the air witches or from the water witches, you can do that also. Nobody's stopping you. You see, that is the lovely thing about witchcraft, okay? You can do anything you want to do, anything, anything. However, for me, 
I draw the line at hurting others. I draw the line at seeking revenge because I know that my spiritual support group, my spiritual support guard will do that work for me. I don't have to hurt anyone. I don't have to seek revenge on anyone. And I'm hoping you guys will do the same thing. But let's move on a little bit. I wanted to show you guys this money spell because especially nowadays with everything that is going on, and I mean everything with regard to gas prices and food shortages and things like that, things that just should not be, it's good to have a little bit of magic in your life to plump up the pocketbook or plump up the wallet, you know, to have that extra money that you need to, to pay the rent next month or, or to buy your child something that they've been wanting for so long or to be able to just do something that is going to make you feel good about yourself. Now, this spell you can do as often as you want. You can do it any time that you want, but I will tell you that it is best done on a waxing moon or a full moon, and it is best done on a Thursday, okay? However, if you are into advanced witchcrafting, which I am, and if you would like to learn more about it, please just write to me and we will get you set up in a course because I'm offering individual courses now, okay, alongside with um, my academy as well, you know, where you can just learn from the Witchling course as well, if you so desire. But if you would like to learn individual courses, like on money or on sex magic or on um, love magic or healing magic, things like that, these different types of witchcraftings, ask me and I will work one-on-one -on -one with you, okay? We'll get this set up for you because you guys, this is something that should not be a chore to do. This should be something that is done out of curiosity and excitement and yes, this is going to work and I'm looking so forward to the results. You see, that's what it's all about. And that's what I'm here to do is to help others also to help myself, of course. I mean, I'd be stupid if I didn't use this to help myself, right? But I'm here to help others as well. So like I said, if you would like to take an individual course, or if you'd like to take the Witchling course, starting from point A, that's fine. Just contact me. I'm here to help you with what you wish to achieve. I'm here to help you achieve that, okay? So now, if you would like, Go ahead and get out your book of knowledge or your um, book of shadows. You can get out your journal or just something to write on and get, of course, a writing implement, okay? I'm gonna start off by telling you what I've got here and I'm gonna try not to make this so long. I know I talk a lot. I tend to talk a lot, can't help it. Um, you know what, I'm gonna start off first by doing this. We are going to smoke this area clean and ourselves uh oh whoop and uh, this is a really good thing to do before you get started with any type of a ritual because it helps you to get rid of any type of astral nasty that might be uh clinging to you or inside of you or around you you never know whoop. out cleanse cleanse cleansing my candle holder yes 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 and all of my money that I'm working with yeah everything here has been cleansed at least a billion times <laughs> due to the fact that I am a working witch I do this every day of my life I this is my life I'm a witch and I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. So, we'll let that smoke itself out. Now I'm gonna tell you what I've got here. 
And I hope that you're going to be understanding because I've got my notes here. Mm -hmm. I find that it keeps me on track and I don't talk as much. Okay, so this could be a good thing. All right, this is called, this is what I call it, Powerful Money and Wealth Spell. Okay, I mean, it's good to do on a Thursday and a waxing moon. We already said that. However, you can do this any time you feel is the right time. Okay, and you can do it as many times as you would like to do it. I always say you can do it one time, three times, six times, nine times. That's just how I do it. Okay, what you are going to need. You're going to need a green candle, a fireproof container. Ta-da! <laughs> this is just like a pie, uh, a glass pie shell. Okay, this is a seven day candle that I've emptied, but um, yeah, it's kind of small, so I call it a three day candle spell holder. Um, you're gonna need two pieces of clean paper. You can just have something like this, or I got me some money. <laughs> you can write on the back of that. I would not recommend using real money, of course, because we gonna burn this. We gonna burn it. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need a pen, writing implement. You're gonna need a lighter or some matches. Now for the spell ingredients, you're going to need peppermint. Do I have my peppermint here? Ah, oh, no, I wanted to go outside and pick some fresh peppermint, but I didn't. So I'm gonna have to use my dry peppermint that I've got. Hang on just a minute, I'll be right back. So I got it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna need peppermint, either dry or fresh. And, and by the way, these um, ingredients can be fresh or dry, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. And even if you only have the oils, okay, that's also okay to use, not a problem. Okay, so peppermint, we've got clove right here, coffee beans, coffee beans, or you can use the ground coffee, it's okay. I just somehow tend to use these coffee beans. I don't know, when these run out, I might use ground coffee, I don't know. Basil, I've got my holy basil here, and um, orange rind, ginger, I'm not using ginger because I ran out of it. I only have just a tiny bit left. Well, I guess I can use, I'll use just this. Um, this is dried ginger. It's just a little tiny bit left over. I'll use that, so ginger. And you can have your peppermint oil or you can have money drawing oil. I've got money drawing oil because I've made it before. It's in one of my videos if you guys would like to know how to do it, okay? If you still have questions after you've watched that video, just let me know and I will help you with that, okay? Because this here is some powerful stuff. Just saying. <laughs> All right, now, um, let me go ahead and read through this, okay? Uh, you're going to cleanse yourself, your working space. Um, you can use pine or you can use sage. You can use cedar, whatever you've got. And let's see if, oh yeah, if you cannot use a smoking incense, okay, the best thing to do is just to get a little um, squirt bottle like this, put water into it. Hopefully it would be rain water, moon water, or sun water. And then you can put your um, pieces of cedar or sage or uh, thyme, rosemary, whatever that you would like to cleanse with. You can put it right into that bottle and just shake it up really good. Put your hands around it and imbue it with your intention of what this water is going to do. And we all know that water has a memory function. So when you're putting your hands around this bottle, whether it be plastic or glass, it does not matter. And you're telling this water and the, um, the herb that's inside of it what it's going to do. This is going to imbue your water and you'll be able to use it just to squirt gently, to mist around your room and your items and yourself even, okay? Okay, let's see. The next thing is we're going to write the following spell completely on two separate pieces of paper. One, two separate pieces of paper. I just get small pieces of paper like that. Like I said, I'm gonna use my money, my money. <laughs> and uh, one of these pieces of paper is going to be to burn and send out into the universe. 
because this helps to push your request up and out so that the universe can gather it up and bring it back down into this plane of reality that we are on very important to think about okay you might want to meditate on that um, for this particular money spell and for other different types of spells and things that you are manifesting okay um, another thing is if you have any of this left over what you can do is put it into a little organza bag make a little grizz grizz bag out of it or something or you can put it in a tiny little bottle and then you can just set that um, on your bedroom window seal or you know wherever you see it a lot or you can you know even just while you're sitting there watching TV pick up your bottle or your bag and just have it in your hands and just suck in this energy that we are creating here suck it in yes let it imbue your body okay now the next thing I've got here it says the spell will need to be chanted nine uh, times in a row with full force and full knowledge when I say with full force you can be screaming it out loud I mean from the very depths of your diaphragm or you can be screaming it in your mind if you can't say it out loud okay and you're gonna have full, full power full force okay and then you're going to start off by writing at the top of both papers that I officially, you might want to use these words specifically, by the way, because I have come up with these myself and I know exactly the power that they bring. So I'm going to start off writing at the top of my, my uh, paper that I officially declare that in this present physical realm, in this life's incarnation and in my own present time that money is freedom, wealth is power, both are mine as of this hour, so mote it be, or you can put it is now so at the end, or you can put ashe, 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 which is what I normally use, okay? Now, say the words that you just wrote quietly or in your mind as you anoint your uh, money drawing candle here. This one, the green one. Okay. The two oils that I recommended seem to work the very best. But remember, use what you have. If you've only got like cooking oil or you've got baby oil or you've got hair oil, whatever you got, use that because it's your intent, it's your power, it's your magic that you're pushing into that oil to anoint this candle to make it one of these special witchcrafting magical candles that's going to bring or help bring your desire into fruition in this plane of reality, okay? Okay, and now you're going to light one of the spell papers on fire whilst holding it over your fireproof dish, being very careful not to burn yourself or set anything on fire, obviously, okay? As the flame swells and expands, chant forcefully in your mind or out loud if you can, nine times that which you've written on your second spell paper. Second spell paper is just the same as the first. It's just in case you forget the words, that's all, okay? So what I'm going to do is, oh, excuse me, I had one more page. <laughs> I recommend that you sit with your candle for at least 15 minutes. You can do it longer if you want to, okay? But I recommend at least 15 min minutes and you're visualizing, you're visualizing during this time that the universe is funneling gathering up and funneling all of that money and wealth and financial uh, power into you, okay? It's coming in through your crown chakra here and it's coming into you. You can imagine it trickling into you, okay? And then it comes at the bottom of your feet and forms a big oval around you. And it is being imbued into your very being into this 
lifetime where you are, okay? Um, put the candles somewhere safe to burn out. You can chant the spell anytime, anytime, as often as you want. That's why I've made this spell so short. Let me do it. Let me read it to you one more time. Okay. Um, this is, you know, what you write at the very top. You don't have to chant this part with it. But when you write this on your, um, your papers, put this at the top that I officially declare I officially declare that in this present physical realm, in this life's incarnation, and in my own present time, okay, and these are the words now, money is freedom, wealth is power, both are mine as of this hour. So mote it be, so mote it be, so mote it be. Okay, so I'm going to write this on here. Um, actually, I'm going to do this when I'm off camera because this is something that I want to do for myself as well. <laughs> you guys are not just going to have everything. I want something too, you know. <laughs> okay, but I am going to go ahead and I'm going to get my herbs together. Let's see, put that over there. So you might want to have a mortal and a mortar and pestle, okay? Um, which one is the mortar and which one is the pestle? Is this the pestle? <laughs> okay. So, I've got my oil here. This is my money drawing oil. Um, like I said, if you don't have my money drawing oil, you're welcome to order it from me. Um, I can send it out. The prices are a little bit lower now here in Germany. And like I said before in other videos, I'm not just gonna send you a bottle with some oil in it. Um, I am a little bit older, so I'm really motherly and stuff. Um, <laughs> feel sorry for the younger people who come into my life because they're like, okay, yeah, she's she's wanting to be mother again. So um, yeah, I will send you a whole bunch of stuff in your little box at no extra cost. Okay, because I know that shipping prices are um, a little bit high over here. Okay. So don't forget, if you don't have money drawn oil, baby, hit me up and I'll get you some, okay? All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my fingers here. And I'm going to put this on my candle in a clockwise motion because I am calling this money power to me. I'm calling money and, and financial prosperity, financial stability. Mm, power if you need um if you have a business or something you need to uh, call business prospects to you you can do that or if you oh i don't know if you own a bakery or something you need some orders you can do that you know i mean just use your imagination get curious use your imagination open up and do those things that maybe your mother and father didn't want you to do when you were younger not the bad stuff don't do the stuff that I would do. Just, I didn't say that. I did not say that. Um, just use your imagination, okay? <laughs> Ooh. All right, so I got my candle anointed. All right, and now I'm going to put some of these red peppercorns in here. They're not really red. They're actually pink, which I love about that. It's, whew, it's got a zingy, zingy, zingy scent. And the reason I'm using these uh, pink ones is because pink is associated with Archangel Ariel and Archangel Ariel is so associated with finances, with money, with prosperity, things like that. And yeah, I think that's really important to work with the angels. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll understand working with the angels is a very positive thing. Um, a lot of people think, oh gosh, she's working with angels from the the Catholic uh, Orthodox religion or, you know, things like that. No, people, if you want to work with angels from the Catholic religion, that's fine. And you want to work with angels from the Bible, that's fine. These, for me, angels are for me, um, beings of power and light and complete goodness. Okay, that's who and what I'm working with. Okay, so just think of it like that, however you wish to do it. It's up 
to you. I got my orange pills here. I'm just going to put a few of these in here because I'm going to do this uh, ritual later today. And I just want to show you briefly um, how to do it so that you are going to have um, a type of guide. Okay, here are my cloves that I'm pouring in. Putting a lot of cloves in there because cloves seem to really set it off. Woo! Peppermint. Peppermint has always been associated with money and healing, of course. But peppermint is really associated with money. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And you know what, you guys? Put some of this peppermint in your wallet or in your purse, in your pocket. And as you're putting it in there, call that money to you. Call it to you because it will come. But that's normally for um, small amounts of money and quick money. If you need a small amount of money very, very quickly, open up your wallet, pour some of that in there and call that money to you. Okay. Now I've got some holy basil Tulsi here. And money is thickly associated with this holy basil, this Tulsi, okay? It is, not only does it taste good in your food, <laughs> but it will help your wallet to plump right up, okay? So I've got that in there so far. The only thing that I don't have in there yet is my uh, coffee beans, are my coffee beans. So I'm gonna grind this up a little bit. And don't forget, we're gonna say this. Money is freedom, wealth is power. Both are mine as of this hour. Money is freedom, wealth is power. Both is both are mine as of this hour. And you're just gonna grind it in there. Circular motion towards you, clockwise. And you're going to say the spell, okay? You're gonna say the spell. And you're gonna push these intentions into here. Oh, wow. Oh. The scent is so intoxicating. My goodness. Okay, after you've done that for a while, oh, I just have to, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot my ginger. Y'all let me forget my ginger. Ooh, chill. Don't forget the ginger and the little bit that I have left. I gotta get some more ginger. Goodness gracious. Okay, keep chanting, keep chanting, whether out loud or in your mind. It's up to you. Okay, and once you've done that, as long as you feel you need to, I mean, because you really got to get into it. You got to, you got to mean it. Like, you got to mean it like you're getting ready to have the big, oh, I mean, you know how you really get into it. <laughs> I'm, I joke you not. I'm serious. You got to put those feelings into it. Put my coffee beans in there. Why am I adding coffee beans to this? Do y'all know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because coffee means it's go time. Coffee has power and strength. That dark richness. You know, coffee is something that is such a wonderful thing. Oh, you can smell it. Can you hear it crunching? Now smell. Ooh, yeah. Coffee is strength. Coffee is power. Okay. And coffee makes you go fast. <laughs> it's go fast juice. That's right. Coffee is go fast juice. <laughs> and we want this spell to go fast, to work fast for us. Okay, you still chant if you want to, or you can grind it up first and then chant. It's up to you. But see, when I'm not showing you how to do this, let me tell you, I am grinding and I am chanting. And I do this for quite a while because I am putting my all into this. I am putting me into this because I know I know that this is going to work 
and I know that it is working already because the thought has come into my mind to do this to begin with. And then I've gathered everything. I'm taking action. Okay. And I'm working with my spiritual support group, the angels, the guardian angels, the archangels, my guardians, my guides, um, my ancestors, the goddess, the God, the creators, the universe, my higher self. And I know it's got to work. There is no other way. Trust me when I say this. Feel this way too. Bring these feelings into yourself and bring those feelings out of your hands and into your mixture, what you're doing. Say the words with conviction. Not only, know, uh, not only believing, but knowing. The knowing is what helps it to manifest. Not just believing it. It's like, you can believe it, yeah. But honey, you got to know it. Because if you're like, yeah, I, 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 I believe it's going to, to manifest. What's the use of you doing this? You need to come on with the come on. Okay? You need to know that this is working. And it is working now. And it is working in your favor. Okay? Know it. Work with your spiritual support group. Work with the angels. The angels. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna put this right over here. We just gonna get our bowl. And now what you would do after you have written your two papers, you've got everything, just pretend like everything is written on here that I have here, okay? And by the way, if you need this, um, the words, you know, the spell, just let me know and I can get them for you. I will get them to you. Okay, just let me know. Um, and like I said, it is best to use these, trust me. <laughs> so, okay, you've got your spell written on both papers, same exact thing. You just have one so you can keep it with you and remember it. Okay, and now this other one, you're going to set on fire. It's burning and you're saying the words, you're saying the words out loud. Okay. You are, you're saying that I officially declare that in this present physical realm, in this life's incarnation and in my own present time, that money is freedom, wealth is power, and both, both are mine as of this hour. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. It is so, it is so, it is so. And then the ashes float down into your tray and then you're going to come here with your glass now you don't have to use this you could just use this and set it on top like that and light it but I like to do it like this because yeah Henry made this for me <laughs> we're going to put this right in here like that set that there and then we're going to take what we put here because see if you're not using something like this you would put on top of the ashes this stuff here that you just um, ground together and put your intentions into you would just put it on here and then you would put your candle on top of that but since I'm doing it this way I am going to take this piece of paper pour it out on here it's the easiest way to do it for me because I don't have my funnel with me and I am just going to pour it right into here so job done okay and then we are going to take this and put it in here okay and then like I said if you're not using a glass jar an empty glass jar Okay, you can just have all of your herbs down here. Okay, and then we're going to put some crystals around it. I like to go north, south, east, and west. And then I want to have my citrine in here also. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> 
And then I'm going to put some green aventurine in here. Now remember, if you don't have green aventurine or citrine, it's okay. Just put some of these uh, quartz crystals in there. And if you don't have any type of crystals, go outside, go for a walk, and find yourself a nice rock or a stone, something, okay? You'll find something. And even if you can't find a stone, I know there's going to be some kind of leaves. There's going to be some kind of grass. And there's going to be some kind of twigs or, or little small sticks or something. We want to use that because it's part of Mother Nature. It's part of Mother Earth. And Mother Earth is she who, who sustains us. Okay, and we need to have these articles. Well, anyway, I do to help me to manifest. It's the mindfulness behind it. Okay, now, got this here, our notes that we wrote down, the same exact thing as what we burnt and sent out to the universe. And now we are going to say this words again as we light our candle. As we light our candle, we are saying that I officially declare that in this present physical realm, in this life's incarnation, and in my own present time, that money is freedom, wealth is power, both are mine as of this hour. And then you can make the invoking pentacle. And bring it into you. Bring it into you. Bring it into you. Sit with this for like 15 minutes or more, visualizing that money coming in. Feel that money coming in and feel those feelings, how good it is when that money starts coming in, when those checks come in, when your funds are, what do you call it, the, the funds that you've invested in or stocks that you've invested in actual, actually pay off or suddenly pay out, you know, or somebody pays you money back that you forgot about or you just somehow get a raise at your job. Or if you're like a customer service person who has to call people like at a call center, you get some extra customers in there that sign with you. I mean, money can come to you in all forms. Prosperity can come to you in all forms. If you're out of food, food will come. If you're out of money, money will come. If you need the money to pay your bills, put it on there what you want. Put it on there what you want. Put on the paper what you want. Put on the paper exactly what you need. Put it on there, put it on there, put it on there and tell your spiritual support group, tell your spiritual support group, this is what I need help with. Help me with this. Please help me with this. And in return, because there's the law of return, baby. Don't forget that law of exchange and return. You have got to give something out. Whether that be a week's worth of lighting candles to help heal the world. Or going to visit somebody uh, as often as they need for a whole month. Or donating some money somewhere, even if it is just one dollar. You know, when you're giving money out, money is coming in. It's an exchange. Don't forget that. And you will see that your desires, your truest, deepest desires begin to manifest very quickly. Okay. That's what I've got for you today. But before I go, don't forget to ground afterward. Ground yourself afterward. Please, trust me. <laughs> ground yourself after you've done your spell, your ritual. Okay. So once again, I am the Silver Sage Witch, also known as Lady Silver Sage. And like I said, if you guys need any help with anything, if you would like to join the Academy, or if you'd like to take individual courses, let me know. I'm here for you. Just contact me. Just contact me. I've always got my information at the bottom of each video. Okay. 
All right, so you guys take care. Thanks for being here. And I'm sending you the brightest, the brightest of magical financial blessings, positive financial blessings to you. All who need it, come and partake to you, to you, to you. Blessed be. We'll see you the next time. Bye for now.